definitely ready to stream, Bill. No, if they don't start now, I won't ever start, so let's start now. There it goes. Yes. Okay, we have sound. We have noise. It's just this game. I need to remember to press in. All right. Like this and stretch it out. Keep your posture straight. Touch the ring con. Ugh. Be careful not to hit the ring con. As is with standard issue with most of these ring fit streams, I actually wanted Last to start time. about half an hour ago. Yes. My Just body like wanted that. to fight me the whole time about Next actually starting is the, the stream. Heel lift stretch. Bring the insides of your Except ankles it was more like 20 minutes ago. The and then about five minutes ago, I said, um. I'm just gonna turn on OBS and you're gonna Last time. embody you're gonna wake up and yes. let the stream just happen. Like that. Next and lo but behold, stretch. the stream started Take happening. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. Focus on lowering your body without putting too much weight on your front foot. Be sure to keep your lower back straight. Let's do one more of each. Finally, spread your feet. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. Focus on leaning to the side without bending forward. This should stretch both the muscles in your sides and in your arms. Let's do one more of each. Great job. Okay. Here's that. Huh. <sighs> now I remember. Oh, I remember I have to yawn, apparently. I remember quite clearly I committed a cardinal sin and I left myself with a boss fight to do. Or a boss stage. Let me check one thing really quick here. Yeah, just wanted to check something really quick here. We're good to go, otherwise. Focus on the stomach muscles. Oh, do go on. Oh, man. 
It's like... Remember you gotta follow? This now? Great! You've been working hard. I think you'll keep going. Huh. Unfortunately, you got it. I think I've seen that name somewhere. Give me one second. Once again. Yeah. That's what I thought. Sorry about that. You did it. I have no idea if you guys can see that message of what just happened in chat, but... If you can, don't worry about it. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just know it is related to the events that have been happening over the last week and a half on Twitch here. in the form teams with him. Bombard them with your yellow skills. So select the skill. If you can but yeah, if you're confused about what just happened and why I went on a typing to page, twist. I can explain it better more, but just if you know, you know. Oh, I need the freaking ring on too, there. on that enemy. Actually, that does help a lot. <sighs> Just, okay. But because it happened, I guess, I, I'm going to talk about it just a little bit here while I get started today. So, so last week, he kind of ready to start a stream like last week. I talked about the fact that uh, there have been a series of bots going around following people, starting the crazy you know, those hate raids. Excellent. And now, almost every time I get a follow now, I fact check it against a database that's out there, you should feel it and basically you start stomach. blocking the hate bots. Okay, let's select the skill. 
So, <clears throat> unfortunately, because it's a bot, it's a bot, a series of bots rather, these, it's difficult to pinpoint who is starting it or who is even doing it or if it's not multiple users making multiple bots that do this. But there's a light at the end of the tunnel with all this. I'll explain in just a second. Okay, let's go. Lower your body so it's parallel. Nice. Nicely done. Okay. Awesome. Neat. Wonderful. Hello, Kasai. I'll read your greeting in just a minute. Gatsby's Gracious Gallivanters. Ooh, we're into alliter alliteration tonight. Yes, I am pressing unfolding. Anyway. Uh, tonight's journey, of course, be ring fit. Keep going. Like the skill. Oh. Nice journey to be ring fit, and of course I'm starting tonight's subject, the same as last week's ring fit stream, I'm starting the subject of the hate raid bots, because, oh boy, I got another one, Razor started streaming today. They're banned. Twitch say hi, hi bot, hi, do something better with your life programmer, bye. But as I was saying, the uh, the hate rate bots have been uh, have been picking up in fervency over the last week or so, and there is a bit of a silver lining to that. There's a bit of a silver lining to that because the brilliant programmers or people who send the bots to go to certain channels have the Oh, it's a brilliant idea to not blacklist the bots against going on Twitch's okay. primary accounts here on Twitch. Awesome. So the bots hate rated the, the primary Twitch gaming account here on Twitch. You know, the one that's help, that's uh, managed by the website itself. So, Twitch has been trying to deny that these hate bots have been occurring pretty much this entire past week or so. And the other day, they had a bot directly, uh, basically, 
directly uh, directly correspond, we'll say, to one of their main outlets. And Twitch has now seen firsthand the bots in action. And they can't deny that they exist. Because somebody was there and did the necessary measures to block to stop the bots from posting their hate messages. Meaning some form of human human interaction was necessary to stop a hate rate. So that means Twitch is now fully aware that they exist. Unless they want to ignore the intern that's telling them that the bots exist for the 13th time. So that's why I have been very loudly taunting and goading the bots that continue to follow this account it to please do your worst. You're wasting your time and resources on somebody who really has nothing but time and resources to counteract stupidity. Is this one. To finish, because we're probably going to have a conversation about it. Okay, yeah. We're going to have a, conver a little bit of conversation about that, but to which I will say with all grace that I can muster while sweaty from working out, dear bots, Please, I welcome you to do your worst. Please attack me. I would, I would rather stand up for those of the LGBTQ community. God damn, I cannot say that acronym. I'd rather stand up to stand up with my friends of that community than stand with a bunch of hateful assholes. So please, initiate the heat. Hello, King's Law. Sorry for the sorry for the very rude oh, interruption on your know. part. I'm goading bots, or put or uh, taunting them to attack. Okay, so there we go. Screaming. No one's shouting into the night. I'm gonna assume it's the game you're talking about, but otherwise, you are confu confusing me to an umpteenth degree. <laughs> There we go. Abgard. All right. Well, that's all settled. 
and then square it away. And squarely settle. Game. Really? I'll have to spike this Joy-Con. My apologies for the very rough opening monologue here on stream, but regardless of that, I hope you're all having a fantastic evening. I hope you're, those of you that are stateside, or even, not even up, those of you that are stateside are starting to make your plans now for the holiday weekend next week. Don't make plans for your holiday weekend Friday night before the holiday weekend. But I hope you're making your holiday plans. Yeah, Labor Day is going up. Very nice. Okay. Er, yeah, Labor Day. Fine work. Fantastic. Again, I I specifically say specifically Neat. to those in the U.S. Awesome. Well done. Then again, I don't know if UK has if the UK or other. Or other areas have like a Labor Day, Memorial Day, or of days of that sort where it's considered where that day is considered a federal holiday on yes! Yes! a certain specific day entirely, and everybody gets that day oh, off nice. for the most part. There are some buildings that stay open on those days, but that's the prerogative of the building, and uh, nice. not mine. Amazing. Ah, fantastic! New headphones are always nice. I'm a little jealous. Because... I'm a little jealous, although I'm not. Because I've been using the same wireless headphones for the past five years now? Six? No, I haven't had wireless headphones that long. Here almost two years. Great. Great. Sure. Great. Keep it up. That's good. Yes. Yes. I mean. Most audio, I mean, most computers, most audio interface computers and laptops, they have a, uh, okay. they have Perfect. a headphone jack on them. So really any earbuds would work. Great. Nicely done. But, Very nice. I've always been, Increase your pace. Nice. when I started using uh, headphones on the computers, I've always been the full on over ear headphones. Great kind of person with an adjustment dial somewhere on them. Keep it up. Ten more. I've been that way since I started Very using nice. headphones on my PC. And it's still no different with my current headphones. Come the, uh... Good. Look, Good. this is not sponsored, of course, because nice. I highly doubt Steel Series even knows Fantastic. I exist. Five Let me finish this and I'll show you the headphones. Well But yeah, uh, these headphones I've been using forever, for like, a le well, less four or five years. Basically, ever since I moved out on my own, I bought these wireless headphones, Sand Speed. And they've been a blessing in my everyday life. Oh, 
Is it a six pack of cola? Oh, I see what we're doing now. Okay. Raise your legs. Keep your legs raised. Yeah, I mean, I'm the same way with earbuds, too. Just. Wow, this will last a long time, doesn't it? Um, a lot of times earbuds for me, they, what is it? Hold on, I gotta focus. I know where they are. They're with my 3DS. It's all good. Anyway. But yeah, my uh, headphones are nice on occasion for certain things. But, well, here's an example. Like, I always tend to get headphones that are in-ear headphones and not like resting in your ear connect, or not re resting in like the bottom of your ear headphones. Probably couldn't see me do that. Too tall for the webcam. I per when it comes to headphones, I like the ones that hang in your ear and not the ones that go into your ear. Just because a lot of times those headphones, either the only ones they have packaged in the box for those are too big for my ear canal. Or they are just terrible quality and they do not stay in place unless you're sitting perfectly still. I always get that luck when it comes to headphones. Or when it comes to earbuds rather. So which is why for just about everything I do on my on a run or at my desk, I use over-ear headphones. Also, let me turn these over so I can hear. Busy, busy, busy. No one's got busy. Why busy? Your words confuse me. Those that confused me. I'm assuming you meant to say busy, but I mean until okay, otherwise, I'll assume go. you said busy.
So. Oh, roof? Okay, then not possible. I mean, you could probably spray it with bleach really quick. You could probably spray it, like put it in a spray bottle and spray it down. But. Oh, never mind, it's in the roof. Or it's inside of it. Yeah, I know. Uh, stay. I suppose, like, the average person, you probably only have the one restroom, so you can't really stay out of that bathroom. Oh! Hey! Good to know that I'm, uh... Good to know I'm not the only one that rents. We'll say. <sighs> ready? No. That'll be ready for three turns. No, if it is a uh, if it is a leak like that, if it's a leak like that that you have no control over, the landlord the landlord is liable for all damages. In which case, hey, if you haven't moved anything out of the that bathroom yet. Take pictures. Lots of pictures. Like, a disgusting amount of pictures. Like you're going to put your bathroom up for sale on eBay. Number of pictures. Because anything of yours that is damaged or affected by it, the landlord is liable to, is, uh, the, la the landlord has to cover. And I think that's a by-law statement, that's not a me saying things to make you, to make you feel better. No, that is a by-legal law of tenancy and landlords uh, having tenants. They are liable for any damage done to your, they're liable for any damage done to your property because of their negligence. I would know. I had my landlord try and uh, spray me not once, but twice for water leakage in my apartment. Just because my apartment had the, store had the, uh, the major drain outlet underneath it. And I was ground floor of the apartment building. Ground floor closest to closest to the sewer side of the street. Well done. Amazing. So, twice when there was a so yeah, like I said twice when there was damage in my apartment when I first moved out, the landlord tried to hold me to liable both times. To which I said, "How is it possible for me to be liable for?" the main drainage valve being entirely my fault when I'm not here. Good job. Awesome. When I'm not here, when I wasn't here well when it started. Perfect. What was it? The first one was my second year living there. The main drainage pipe got blocked and clogged Amazing. and basically leaked underneath my bed. Luckily, no damage to my stuff, surprisingly. Even the bed frame had no damage to it. And this is the wood bed frame too, by the way. But it's one of those bed frames where it's up on four legs and not like flush to the ground. So, yeah. And the second time... And the second time, the uh, the water heater the water heater had a had a uh, burst in it, or it had one of the pipes burst in it. Somehow, in the middle of summer, when winter was long gone, one of the one of the elbow brackets you can't see my finger. One of the elbow brackets on it that looked like that had had sprung a leak and burst, and they tried to blame it on me again. And it was like, how was this my fault? 
How is this my fault that this happened? I don't have access to the water heater. It is under lock and key by you and your man and your uh, management services you hired. How is it my fault? <laughs> Yet all the water damage came into my apartment. Luckily, no mold. Well, actually, there was mold at the end. At the end of it all, but thankfully, it was stuff I was fine parting with. Okay. Perfect. Uh, it was a box of. It was a box of souvenirs that I had not set out or touched in forever, and they were souvenirs I was fine getting rid of. So I just pitched the. I just pitched the whole box, and it was one of my CD cases. Or excuse me, it's my only CD case. One of those huge, like 182 capacity CD cases. And it just got the case itself and some of the pages in the case. Uh, no, it uh, got more than some of the pages in the case, so I just threw out those pages and uh, reserved the rest for my leftover CDs. Of which I don't use CDs at all anymore, so I probably would should just throw out the, those CDs. <laughs> it's like 70% burned CDs that aren't very well uh, themed anymore anyway. Plus, thanks to the wonder of technology, I just plug an iPod into my USB outlet and I have 800 songs on shuffle that I can skip tracks on without even looking down at the iPod. <laughs> I got them fancy wheel buttons for change the songs. That was the other thing too. So I didn't have a dishwasher in my last place. I didn't have a dishwasher, but I had a garbage disposal for a total of about two months. And then it burned up on me. And even though I told the landlord, she didn't replace it at all. Pull a double double on me so much. I understand they made no sense. Roll with me on this one. No, she knew, but I uh, I think this is back before you started following and regularly being regular on the stream because I but. I mean, that apartment is where I started off being able to stream closely, like part-time, we'll say. I'll say part-time. I was able to stream part-time from there. And just... My... I dealt with it because my only other option... My only, I only had two other options at that point. A... Moving to an apartment that costs seven hundred dollars a month, three hundred dollars more a month more than I was spending, I could swing that, but man, it'd be tough. Or move back home with my parents. That second one was not an option at the time because me and my parents were butting heads a little bit because I was definitely too old to be staying at my parents' house, and they, uh, and despite them really saying they wanted me back, I uh, wasn't feeling it. Every time I went to visit, something got went a little awry. That is the best option for you. 
if it's the best option for you and neither you or her are at each other's throats for any reason, then stay, then stay there. Stay with her and make sure she's as healthy as she can be. Like, um, I won't name specifics, but I will say that I'm a pacifist and will say yes to everything. Even if it means hurting myself, I will say yes to it, especially if it's my parents. And my parents are incredibly passive aggressive and until I, until they for sure knew I was moved out, moved out for the rest of my life. They were pretty toxic about me, about me living my life how I wanted to. Like, as of now, you know, kind of like with what you're saying, you know, you know, parents, we're we're coming, we're 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 along on social good graces right now. We're communicating like normal people for once in like the last two years. <laughs> Main thing is, Kasai, is if at least recently you both agree that you will be, you will agree to disagree. Oh my God, switch! It's right here to do this thing. Thank you. If you're agreeing to disagree on things. And are, are are basically have uh, have for the most part figured out each other's boundaries. If you're staying there to keep her healthy or help her stay healthy, and she knows that, stick with it. Okay, let's go. I let my parents be themselves, and without me as the middleman between them to decide their arguments that time they realized oh oh we can't use our children against each other Good job. Keep yeah. it up. okay yes. Yes. Kasai, I want you to know I'm going to say the wrongest Nicely choice words because right the combination oh, of what I'm being told here oh, makes my blood boil a little bit so understand that okay. what I'm saying, I'm trying to word it as nice as possible. Excellent. How is somebody who has poor health okay. against the vaccine nice. that will cause them to not die if a if the mailman coughs on them here? Like if you can pose. get if you can get your vaccination, do it regardless. Charge your squat power, but don't At least that's me speaking. Yourself. I don't know what your relationship with your mother Release is gonna turn out to be. If you do that, you know better than I do. So listen to yourself over some random jerk on the internet. 
Lightly cover the IR motion camera with the pad of your right thumb as shown. Measuring. Please do not move your thumb. Like I said, I only say it like that because based on what you've said, she seems immunocompromised. You know, the people that had first grab at the vaccine. <sighs> Dios mio. Why is it a... Sorry. Pulling myself back, reeling myself in, because I'm going to I'm going to say mean things. I apologize. Pulling myself back in. I'm going to stop. My apologies. Excuse me. Ah, young robots in love. Okay. Hey, give me just a minute. I have a headache brewing. I have a headache brewing, and I'm gonna take some Advil very quick. So the jo the Joy-Con is gonna disconnect while I go take care of that. But I'll be back with you in like less than a minute. Okay, it picked up on the Joy-Con. I, I haven't taken my eyeball yet. I'm just doing this because it's going to freak out if I don't... The game's going to freak out if I don't give it a response immediately when I get back. Off camera. Because I'm pretty sure there's some TOS thing on Twitch that says you cannot show yourself taking medicine even if through something such as a headache. which I have one brewing. <sighs> which, by the way, okay, speaking of saying Goman Asai, remnants of speaking Weebanese, I'll say, Basically, you've seen anime, and they say the same phrase three or four times, so you start repeating it back, not knowing its context. I now know the context of Goma Nasai. And I still have that, like, innate burning... That innate burning deep inside of me to still say it when I have nothing better to say. I'm literally just saying, please. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. And yet... My brain's natural instinct is say please. Although, on the flip side of the coin, the magic, the magic of anime mom energy has been ruined. <laughs> So you know how, hey, actually wait, before I go in, uh, I think I have to make uh, more, oh no, I have plenty of smoothies, never mind. So you know, a lot of people's trigger, we'll say for happy times from anime is, you know, the mom character of the, of the anime going, 
I'm gonna say it while running, by the way. Gonna, actually, I can say it right. Is going. Ara ara, doi tashimaste. Which. Ara ara. Random noise, random noise. Or oh my, oh my. Followed by doi tashimaste. You are welcome. <laughs> Learning Japanese has ruined that for everybody now. <laughs> It's literally saying, oh my, oh my, you are welcome. There's nothing special about that. <laughs> Let's go. You did it! You're welcome, internet. I have ruined it for you. Also, I hit a fish. Isn't that amazing? All one person who's interested in Japanese as much as I am? That magic has been ruined. Much like, I think, two weeks ago now, I realized Ao Oni literally translates to Blue Monster or Blue Demon. It uh, kind of loses a lot of its uh, impact, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, that's Yan Yan. Or no. Is that Ra? God damn it. Give me a second. You got Ya. First off, where's my. There it is. Yes, I'm pulling out my book that I should I should be writing in to help me remember uh, Hiragana. Ugh. This is gonna get messy really quick, by the way, because I have a pack right on, on this shelf. Yare, Yare. Oh, it's Ray. It probably is Ray. Hold on. Is that Ray? Hmm. No, I guess it is Ray. So you're saying yare, 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 which has been loosely translated down to. Good grief. I'm saying Ara. Hold on. I'll look at the symbols in big letters for you. It's backwards. I understand, but Ah? And I gotta find Ra. Ara, Ara. <clears throat> By the way, uh, anybody who's going to clip this, this is your, now your one, one of few chances to get this. So, Ara, Ara, doi tashimaste. There you go, you get dad vibes off that one. Okay. Um. So you said it right the second time. You got it right the second time. This combination right here, that's the right one I was saying the whole time. The one up higher, that's that's Jojo. That's Jojo. That's Jojo. Yada yada does it. such thing as is there such thing as dad energy in an anime and can I corner that market with my broken Japanese <laughs> okay enough enough shit posting let's do the thing that I'm putting off doing
as I proceed to. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna see that when I go to highlight this stream, by the way. I'm gonna post that highlight. And I want to see if somebody does something with that. Internet. Like, Internet, if you come to this this VOD after you see the clip, if you do nothing with that Internet, I can't do anything against you because I'm li literally... I'm either, I'm either three blocks away from you or three countries away from you. thing definitely just gave me like three like 10 extra reps free which is fine because normally it takes normally it makes me do an extra 10 reps my wind back a little bit but okay let's move i am recollecting i am recollecting uh the meme uh today she oh my god her name is lily kanji for crazy <laughs> um kureji ali when she uh, basically baited the internet into an into an RR she made, and the internet lost it for a solid month and made memes about it. God, she's <laughs> sorry. I don't mean to talk about VTubers, even though they're coming becoming a focal point of the internet now. Just the crazy lass. Nice. Great. Awesome. So there is two ways to write that. If you write it in uh, hiragana, which is the curved letters I showed you earlier, and that you typed okay. above earlier, if you use the curve. If you use the, the curve literature okay. for Kakashi, Amazing. if you use the curve letter learning for Kakashi, you are saying Great. Scarecrow. If you used Katakana, aka what's basically set, calling something by its proper name, then you are saying the one named Kakashi. Here gone the Katakana. Their problems. By the way, there's a third alphabet in there. It's called kanji, and it's even more convoluted because they because some because some characters can have two sounds, some can have three. The 
said, okay, yeah, I said kanji. Okay, I said kanji is multiple, so yeah. But yeah, just freaking going back in the story I started. Uh, freaking Ollie, just. And I'm gonna botch up her quoting because it's been a while since I've seen the clip. Just. Just her saying, let me say ada ada. Let me say ada ada. Ada ada. Clear throat. Ada ada. <laughs> the internet died for a solid month after that happened. Hey, go for it. Who do you think is going to stop you from doing that, by the way? Not me, some random dude on the internet. We're going to switch this up this time. Copywriting a show title is different from copywriting a name. Copywriting a name is dang near impossible, which is why uh, Sakura, uh, Masahiro Sakurai's company could have been Sora, which is short for Sakurai, I want to say. I'm definitely wrong on that. He could have just copyrighted Sora, but then every person named Sora would have problems because you can't copyright a name and the names would become would become uh, legal battles ah uh, yes this is my daughter Sora you are, you now owe the government $300,000 for and, a, and you are receive a cease and desist order huh which is why his company's name is Sora Limited for part of it so like a series like Naruto their title, they're copying the series, the series name, not the name Naruto. Uh, a little bit of both. Flat, uh, flat out honest you, it would be both. Unfortunately, okay, let's go. unfortunately the split would be... Five, five to ten percent. Oh, that's clever. That's Kakashi and Scarecrow in Japanese. And ninety percent. Is this a fan fiction? This is bad fan fiction. Ow. When you go full nerd and hurt yourself. Unfortunately, as Bo Burnham has said recently, welcome to the internet. And that's really it. That's really all the part I'm quoting that song. Welcome to the internet. You can have a clever idea, somebody hates it. But it's actually an original idea that no one's ever thought somebody hates it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, okay. Curtain pulled back. No holds barred. Well That's a kink. specifically hypnosis that helps you and I'm not I am not awesome. by the way big bold letters here big bold letters holy crap they're so big they're blocking out they're blocking out the uh, Times Square signage I am not a professional on this matter but if things involving hypnosis help you sleep potentially look into ASMR videos Well 
Like, a lot of people listen to ASMR and it helps them fall asleep. In fact, if you want a, uh, if you want a quote-unquote famous source point, if you want a famous source point on this that I'll give you, uh, I'm not sure if he does it so much anymore in the recent years, but Rubber Ross used to fall asleep to ASMR videos. Like, they, like, uh, he got invited on as a guest for one of the, uh, the 10 minute power hours that Aaron and Dan do. He got invited on as a guest to basically be a first responder, a test audience for an ASMR vid they did. And they weren't even like seven minutes into the, seven minutes into all, or seven minutes into their session and Ross was almost asleep. In a beanbag chair. <laughs> Again, one, I'm not an expert on this. I could be wrong that, that hypnosis and ASMR are related. Two, I could be wrong in the fact that Rubber Ross still uses ASMR videos to fall asleep. Three, uh, hi the angry Ross fans that are suddenly here. I'm not being, I'm not being mean or deceitful or jealous of the man. I'm just saying things I saw three years ago. But anyway, so look into it maybe. I mean, I've kind of looked into it, but it's really hard for me to fall asleep with something on in the room. But, like I found a video that I would like to... There's a video that I found for my Japanese learning that I found that's basically learn Japanese while you sleep. So it would be to put on this eight hour video in the background while I sleep but there's many problems that one I can't sleep it's very hard for me to fall asleep when something electronic is on outside of you know a box fan if I know this lovely little box is on on my right if I know that box is on, my brain is wired to get going. Because that box is tied to 40% of my working life right now. <laughs> and I mean working life as in the time I spend working on something and not relaxing. Because I would, I would love... I would love to take a week, put the video on that I just described, put it on, and go to bed, and wake up after a week, and remember things that I'm struggling with currently through the phone app I'm using for learning, and also learn new things and be ahead of the curve on what my phone app's trying to teach me. I would love to do that. It's always awkward. And with that being said, I would like to introduce you to a lovely thing called Rule 63. No, that's gender bending. Sorry. I have my rules backwards. <laughs> um, rule 34. If it exists, there is porn of it or related to it. Welcome to the internet, have a look around, anything your brain can think of can be found. We got mountains of content, some better, some worse. If none of it's of interest to you, you'd be the first. Alright, I'm done quoting Bo Burnham. <laughs>
five years, ten years probably now, because Undertale is like ten years old, I think. Like, while I recap, while I catch myself and catch my breath, whew, huh. if it exists, there is loads of it. I'll be a little more coy with how I say it now. And to anybody who laughs, and to anybody who laughs, I would like you to look at who is quite possibly the grandpappy to a lot of us who play video games and commentate over them, Proton John. He has an entire subsection of his fandom dedicated to drawing him as Rosalina with, uh, with a quite largely gifted set of assets. All because of one joke he made. And it's now a core staple of his community. <sighs> oh, flying time. Yes, uh... The Canadian of that group who, to put into context, Proton John is the second person I ever started watching on what was then called Google Videos. No, third, sorry, third person I ever watched in this vein of content creation. The first being H.C. Bailey, who does nothing but play RPG games, and then Deceased Crab, who plays almost entirely indie titles. Proton John, along with Slow Beef. I think it's just Slow Beef. Proton John and Slow Beef are like the only two that still stand, stand out amongst the crowd of veterans in this field. But Proton John is what who eventually inspired me to start in on this content creation gig. And whether he remembers or not, I have told him that in person. Told him that in person at MAGFest 2015? No. Yes, actually. To which he said, Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't care. Sorry, not to you, Kasai. But with Proton John, he inspired others to get in on the gig too. Nintendo Capri Sun kind of did it on his own thing, but basically had the bigger push with knowledge that John was doing it. So basically, Tim got pushed further in the right direction, so to say. Emil, Emil saw him around the same time I did, and Emil just kind of. Took off running because he actually did research, proper research for his stuff. Meanwhile, I just rambled aimlessly into the ether, hoping to catch some ground, so to say. Oh, here's the lean. Lean. But 
to loop things back around to what I was saying a minute ago, and to make it this no longer I make I make this stream no longer wholesome, even though we went past the point when I already did the are are doi Um Give it a couple years. Give it a couple years, barring that I actually gain traction on this near vertical ascent to content creator. <laughs> At this point, give it a couple years. If I gain traction, you'll you'll see me <laughs> in that in that rule. Just it will Ready? exist. Go. I can't control that. I can't control that it doesn't exist. And of course, there's gonna be a handful of people. That's not true. That's not true. Not every content creator ends in that up in that vein. Bet. anybody that says you know that doesn't happen with everybody who makes content every person that I mentioned has suggestive content surrounding them whether it was enforced by John's hand or not so to say Some people are can't control themselves or the urges. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And that's why Uncle Ted doesn't come around anymore. Who that got dark with that one sentence. Who lad? Night dark. Whoo! Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this magical journey on learning what the rules of the internet are. Please proceed with caution, grab your coat on the way out the door, and I recommend using the sanitizing station just, just after the coat rack. You'll probably want it after sitting on those chairs. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to uh, retitle this stream to "No Kids Allowed." Hold on. <laughs> Nobody under the age of 25 allowed in this stream. <sighs> oh. You know, it's been kind of a wonderful thing. Like, I of course, I of course, watch out for the very obvious words that I should not say ever. I of course watch out for those. So hang on a second. I of course watch out for those those specific trigger words that get everybody else in the tizzy. Dude, if you want to go ahead. Okay. Let me get back to this in just a second. I'll get back to this whole thing. I gave you permission, by the way. But I'll come back to this in just a second. It has been super liberating that as long as I don't curse or say very, very, very bad words that trigger every cancel culture pursuer in the world to come after somebody, as long as I don't say those specific words, I have been super liberated in my mentality to just say, eh, heck with it. Just say what's on your mind, Scooter. It's led to some very funny situations. Um, to those, to those of you that have been watching the new Pokemon Snap series, you'll understand next week. But anyway, this statement that I said I would get back to. Kasai, 
you may go ahead and do so. As much as you wish to, at the very, at the, at the very least. For some reason, me, a very muscular built, well, not very muscular, a, a tall, wide-framed, mus muscular-ish man of my age has been equated to being Neptunia. Or not, not, not Neptunia, Nepnap. A.K.A. your typical Japanese anime high school waifu. I mean, I'm not going to say no, but th it's weird. <laughs> but go ahead. Go off, King. Oh, yeah. That's all coming together. Did I say Nep Nep? That's the same freaking person as Neptune. God damn it, Scooter. Nep Gear. Nep Gear. Nep Gear. Hyper Dimension, Hyper Dimension Neptunia is a game not for, meant for anybody under the age of 17. Nep Gear. I've done I've done things I've used voice changers I've used voice changers on my own voice and you know I have the power of editing if things come together and I have the time cursed content may be coming your way soon <laughs> by the way that adds into the whole that adds into the whole thing that I've been I've been yelling about for the past 10 minutes I'm going to say I'm going to say a curse word here just to prep anybody who's watching you got about a five second window before you have to mute everything I have hit I have hit that lovely point of I don't give a fuck anymore Let me catch my breath a little bit. 
So, I'm going to deep dive on myself here. I'll keep it as short as possible. So, my apologies if I don't keep it as short as possible. It's been liberating over the last seven years, five to seven years of my life to just do and say what I want and not be held under a microscope from somebody scrutinizing every word I say telling me that's not the proper thing to say. My parents were very controlling of how I spoke. Everything I had to say, everything I said and did from about age 13 until age 30, I pretty much had to watch what I said like a hawk. So being able to kind of let loose is very liberating. Try this, work your core. Now, again, I'm very sparing with my, I still say curse words, but I'm very sparing with my curse words because to my nephews and to some people on like got tubs, you know, I'm a role model. I can't be dropping F-bombs every time Every time I open my mouth. Occasionally, it's fine. I need to find more eloquent words to say. It will also explain to you why I am so... Why I'm internet cautious, yes. But it will also explain... Why my... Lexicon or internal dictionary has grown so much over the last three years Because I mean I know to say fuck and most people are okay with that But not the people that really care the ones that say you can still make content on the internet so I have learned how to expand my vocabulary to not use a swear word like a comma <laughs> or like or in place or in lieu of the word very because oddly enough okay, let's go. a quote that kind of that comes to mind every now and again when I think about oh boy I know some big words a quote that comes to my mind every now and again is oddly enough something that came from uh, Robin Williams, I believe from the film Goodwill Hunting, of all places. Men use their words. They don't say very. They have they have very they have very flexible and versatile word choice. They don't just drop a very every time they need to say a word with a common adjective. They find a word that combines the, the, the meaning into a much bigger, bigger, more complicated word. It makes them sound smarter. And that's where the quote falls off, by the way. Which is why when I'm not sweating, sweating profusely. When I'm not sweating profusely and I can actually focus on my vocabulary. There are some big words that come out of my mouth. Very big words. Well done. I'm pretty sure my most recent big word of the week has been morose. As in, I, I am going to be speaking about something that is in lines with the matter of death and like causes. Sorry, Internet. Morose is not the name of a funny haha -ha Hearthstone slash Warcraft character. It is an actual word. Look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> to which the Internet goes, How could you? 
I thought we had something. I thought we had Mickey Mouse. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I mean, of course, fight her on that. If you don't want to speak like that, don't speak like that. But, to me, what the funny thing would be to do... By the way, 10 second warning, I'm gonna curse. The funny thing to do in that aspect would just, would just be, when you know she's trying to get you to curse, just say, Cut it off with the Keep fucking horseshit, mom. Stomach. Basically, just shock her and just basically shock her more than anything. Quick, let's hurry out of here. Oh, shoot. Like I said, it's more of a uh, shock tactic more than actual solution to the problem. Because I know the moment you curse once, I know the moment you curse once, she'll expect it more and more out of you. So, do as you will. Once again, repeating what I said earlier, do not let some random jackhole on the internet tell you how to think or speak. Be your own person with your own opinions. I like how I say that when Twist. an hour and a half ago I was trying to provoke a bots to, to please go ahead and hit me with all you got. Properly getting roasted. I get hit with those a lot. I just kind of shrug them off for the most part. The ones that I don't, uh, by the way, this happens more often than I'm letting on. The ones that I don't catch as a roast and think it's an actual insult, I fall for. my favorite roasts some of my favorite roasts to do are the ones that have no context you don't know the person you don't know their life you don't know their story you don't even know who they are because it's on the other side of the internet but you find something stupid to roast them on I want to say like the ones I loved for a roast and I guess more or less it's passive aggressive burns that don't it shouldn't get somebody upset but they'll get upset like I'll say one loud clear in the microphone I bet you eat pop tarts without putting them in the toaster
I hope you next time you go to get an ice cream cone out of the and the, or I hope the next time you go to get an ice cream cone the box is empty. ones like that that have no that should not upset somebody yet if you catch the right person with it holy cow holy cow you have set them off like a firework <laughs> I bet you go to get fast food and the only thing you order is two large fries and a water. I hope when you get up at night to have to go to the bathroom, you stub your toe on the corner of your bed. Get milk in the morning, milk's frozen. Passive-aggressive burns hips. that don't make any, shouldn't make any sense, but if you get the right person with it, oh lord, that sets them off. spill your water jug and when you go to clean it up there's no there's no clean t uh, toilets or uh, there's no clean towels in your house yes I definitely hate you where it hurts I hope there's no clean toilets in your house When you do do, gotta do the do do. The toilet is filled with poo poo. There you go. There's a 12 year old one. Why you ask? Because mentally I'm 12. And troll people. When I make these passive aggressive comments like this, I get. Finish. When I make these passive aggressive comments, I'm not aiming. I'm not aiming with a sniper rifle. I'm aiming with a grenade launcher. <laughs> if I catch anybody in the, if I cast catch anybody in the spread, amazing. sitting at.
rather, I'm not aiming with a grenade launcher. Oh, uh, oops, I forgot the thing. I'm not aiming with a grenade launcher. I'm aiming, I'm aiming with the tactical nuke. Tactical nuke incoming! <laughs> Unfortunately, most of my passive aggressive, most of my passive aggressive uh, insults like that. Okay, that's fine. Most of my passive aggressive insults involve food, because hey, surprise! The first 30 years of my life, I was a foodie. Somebody took the toy already. Fantastic. Just the. Amazing. Come on, man. No, I was looking for. I mean, it's not gonna affect my day, but come on, man. Great. Wonderful. When your alarm goes off, you snooze it twice and then get up for the day. So you so you're running around in a hurry. The ultimate one. The ultimate one. I hope you get stuck in a no passing one uh, two way street behind somebody going ten miles under the ten miles under the speed limit. That one's a little mean, because if you didn't leave the house, if you didn't leave the house you normally do, you're going to be late as is, and then that's going to make you even later, so that one's actually mean. Rushes this uh, today. I'm almost at my goal. <laughs> Depending if I'm gonna make this the last one or something, I'll, I'll have to see what we get at, what we get to at the end of it. And how I'm feeling? Ow! Come on, this one. Dang it! The one on my left side isn't popping, and that bottom one on my right side isn't popping. That's not good. Those are the two that cause me the headaches the most. Those two vertebrae in my neck that are that are almost near my shoulder blades.
stomach when you breathe out. <sighs> okay, let's select the skill. Hold on, the last one. Okay. So I'm gonna push in, and you're gonna go all the way in. As the two, the two things are touching. Sure to stay hydrated. The two things were touching for that one, and it still didn't count as a full press. Against Come on. Keep it up. 
You know what I mean? You made it. Like, there's gotta be some subsection of the internet that just like. No! VTubing is a sin against God and all of his internet entertainment purposes. There's definitely gotta be people like that. To which I say, you realize you are presenting all the evidence I need to call you an old, scared man and or woman. Like, it's not... The VTubing trend is not the definitive future of content creation. This much is true. But to run away, but to be adamantly afraid or abhor a trend, you just look silly. And if you say, oh, well, I just don't, I just haven't. I just don't like any of the ones I've seen. Welcome back from your forks. Did you get a spoon in there too? Uh, a Lamau, imagine that's a finger gun, but I can only use my feet. But like, anybody who says, oh, they're all trash, they're all bad, they're all terrible, yada yada, it's just like, eh, no. Much like a lot of content creators, you just haven't found the one you like yet in most situations. <sighs> um. It's funny you mention that because my dinner tonight is either going to be hot dogs my dinner tonight is either going to be hot dogs or a bowl of rice. I haven't decided yet. But anyway. But no, if, you, if you're against that whole trend, you just haven't found the, the, you haven't found the person or the personality you love yet. over a hump but still I feel like I might I feel like I might push the push the envelope a little bit more anyway like okay so I mean I guess I kind of owe it to lucky because on stream he did confess or he did confide in me that he enjoys a handful of the vtubers as well he didn't say which ones but he does enjoy them and I gave him the, yeah, that's fine. I understand. I liked him as well. Again, keep in mind, I can really, because of my busy schedule, I can never watch their full on streams. I can only watch clips that are posted. Point home of that of that moment. You'll probably find some if you keep searching on the VTuber front, you'll find somebody you enjoy. Somebody that vibes with you. It's the reason why you found and watch me if you watch me regularly. 
It's the reason why you follow regularly somebody else. You'll find somebody with a personality you enjoy. So don't, don't shy away from it. Basically, the VTubing is, as, as far as I see it, VTubing is the next step on the, plat on the content creation platform from Twitch streaming, Let's Playing, that whole plateau. VTubing is kind of that next plateau that we're going to jump to. Just don't... Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of the future just cause, just cause it's there. If you're afraid of something, that means you've already lost. You kind of lost the battle against the future, and you'll be and you will end up being that that guy that gets made fun of because they didn't. They get, 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 can't talk. You'll be like grandpa from, for, you'll be like grandpa from Zim, from Simpsons. There, I finally got it out. <laughs> you'll be the guy saying, "What? Well, it was hip when I was your age, and stop being hip anymore." And soon it'll happen to you. If you, if you keep up with what's currently "quote unquote" hip, you don't have to worry about ending up like that. Keep up with current trends. You won't ever be afraid to end up like that. Anyway. We're gonna do mountain climbers. But first things first, water water refill, because I've been forced to. Anyway, it's gonna yell at me it's gonna yell at me that uh, the Joy Con's been disconnected. You know how this goes. Also, before I forget, I will say, Kasai. I will tell you right now, if you're going to pursue this, I mean, you can do it, but remember, having an avatar to act behind is half of it. Acting, as I said, is a major part of that. You also, nine times out of ten, have to have some other gimmick going for you. Plus, on top of that, you can make all the assets yourself. But you'll be paying buco bucks to somebody to turn that into something that can be used within VTuber Studio or Face Rig or whatever program it is people use now for that. Hey, it is enjoyable. Doing this is enjoyable. I mean, I would be remiss and stupid to say that I know, to ignore the fact that I'm probably getting a little burnt out, because, let's see, I think it's been almost a month now, and I've missed every Monday stream for the past month. Granted, the reasoning for that has had decent reasons a couple of times. Like, this week I missed it because I was waiting on a phone call that I never received. But the last two weeks, I just, no, I just, I just said no. 
because my body couldn't do it. So I would not. So I would be stupid to say that I'm that I'm not edging. I'm on that I'm not on the edge of burning out. And believe me, I have been toying with the idea of getting ahead of myself by about three weeks and then taking a two-week hi hiatus from the internet. It's been on the back of my. It's in, been in the back of my head for about a month now. I mean, I've done it before where I've given myself the occasional break um, in content creation just because I make too much every now and again. But outside of doing the same amount of work, I gotta pause this, finish this thought. Outside of, outside of making, do, making the same amount of effort to put out the same amount of content or more every single week, I've been doing that near non-stop streaming and content creation on YouTube. I've been doing both near non-stop for about 10 for 10 years now. I don't think I've missed I don't think I missed one day of uploads. I don't think I've gone a full day without an upload in 10 years. 10 1 0 Granted, this is fun, so I don't really treat this like a, like a job, at least not yet, but even I am starting to realize I should probably take a vacation from this at some point soon so I don't burn up like a burn up like a paper like a paper ball in a fire pit. Actually, one more thing about that because the bee too anything. Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Like, I've said it on Twitter before. I'd be interested in getting into the into the VTubing game. Uh, game, yes, I would love to do it. I would be ecstatic to get in on it. Here's the thing. There's no purpose or reason for me to do that right now. Because what I'm doing right now is the same thing I'd be doing VTubing. The exact same thing, point for point. I would just be out, like... $1,500 for the, for the rigging, programming, and everything else I need to make that work. And I'm lowballing it, by the way. I said it on Twitter that what I would like to do in the future, like a couple years from now, is... If my Japanese progresses to the point where I can speak conversational Japanese, and I can and I can relearn my Spanish that I knowledge that I have that's kind of buried in my head, if I can relearn my my Spanish I have. I would like to come out and have my thing be besides whatever the hell avatar I have, have my thing be trilingual. Just have that be a thing, a part of me. I know there's others that do that already. Hell, I'm pretty sure the person I mentioned earlier, Kureji Ali, she's in. She speaks English, Indonesian, and Japanese. So I basically going in that same vein.
<sighs> but, but yeah, here we go, flexing the knowledge that I have of, of a taboo subject, so to say. There is somebody out there in the VTube community who goes by the name of Juniper. You'll know you'll found her because her avatar is a moth. Well, humanoid moth. <sighs> if you want to get into learning how that works, peeping on what she does every now and again. Yes, moth, M-O-T-H. Peeping on what she does occasionally because she makes her own art assets which she rigs herself for VTubing, which she has coded or she has uh, rigged up herself with the VTuber Studio program. She's done all of it herself. Every single step. She hasn't handed it off to any other person. All assets are what she has made and done herself. Her screen name is Juniper, or if it's something else. Bravo! But, like I said, her avatar is a moth. A humanoid moth. So, you know how it is, you know. With the. Reminder, she's made all her asses when her, herself when I say this. So, you know how it is with, with pretty much every female VTuber. Uh. I believe the phrase they use is booba. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. But she has made her avatar very pronounced, I will say, to put it lightly. <sighs> Let me continue and see what I'm at. I might end it here, actually. Yeah, that's looking halfway good, actually. Yeah, no, that's fine. Don't. Oh, yeah, that's not worth it. I'll do that as a warm-up next time I play. Yeah, I think I'll end it here, actually. Eh. I mean, I stopped pulling my... I've stopped pulling my punches, as I've said before, so. But, a lot of the female, people who are female who do this, are aware that the body is a temptatious thing. And they take full ad, uh, advantage of that. two hours too I'm at yeah they know they know and when they speak they're kind of like me like kind of like me right now when I'm speaking they know they don't care they are just gonna say things I'm gonna wind down now they, they say things they know they're saying things and they don't care Yeah, that's about where I wanted to aim, at least calories burned wise, so I'm, I feel good about that.
Let's begin our static stretching. You won't need the ring con. Be mindful of Wait, I've been at this for two hours. I still haven't eaten dinner, even though I've had a peach for a snack. Stretch but I still need to eat to at actual and dinner. With your right arm. Pull in your even arm if it is something and small. The muscles of your left shoulder. Uh, excuse me. So, regardless of the gender of who you look up, if you want to research any of these VTubers to kind of know what I'm talking about in more depth, just be aware, they they don't care. But be careful not to balance. Either their designs don't care, or their words don't care. Who's in the room? Bring yourself back slowly. Put your hands on your lower back. I believe... As if supporting it. Gently tilt your upper body. For my down, knowledge, but don't lean back more than this is a hollow line, by the way. But I believe the worst defender of that right now, it, in my opinion, is a uh, Tanakashi Kiara, aka the, the Phoenix and Lady. Both hands and hold your left wrist while pulling on your wrist. Tilt to the right and stretch your side. Her avatar, like she has said, real life, she dresses very similar to her avatar which whatever respect she knows what she looks like return to your original position and she doesn't have anything to hide and bend the other, way. other than her actual face which that's part of that gig but anyway don't hold your breath but her avatar definitely doesn't hide anything and her words definitely don't hide anything either back slowly Which before that was together and loosen up. Bend forward while breathing out. Which before her once you come to on. a stop, breathe in slowly. Hold it like that for a little longer. Bend your knees slightly and raise your body bit by bit from your lower back until Which before her, up. before uh, this one retired, Kiryu Koko was the Bend your left knee held that title the most you. proud of Pull your knee back Lude, crude, don't care, thigh. might have a little bit of an attitude. Now do the same on the opposite side. Which, Godspeed Kaicho. Be careful not to bend your lower back backward. Bring yourself back slowly, and your so, stretching yeah. is complete. Good job. I like how this heel turned into basically me professing my love for the VTube, VTubing community. <laughs> anyway, that's enough out of that. And that's enough out of this stream too. Um, did anybody have any questions they wish to ask before I close up shop for tonight? Uh, I will say, let me put this down and I'll talk finish. Actually, we do it like this. I won't be sitting in my chair, but at least I'll be at head level. So, I will say, when it comes to Saturday's stream, that's going to be a bit up in the air, if I stream that evening or not. Uh, I'm doing a get-together with my family this coming Saturday, as in two days from now Saturday. So, keep an eye on Twitter. I'll let you know if I even stream on Saturday. But, I'm definitely... I'm definitely kind of getting into the mindset myself right now that... Family family, family and friends are starting to come first ahead of streaming. So... Again, keep eyes on Twitter if I'll do anything for Saturday. Uh, Saturday, may, if I do stream on Saturday, it might be something a little different. Uh, as I retweeted out earlier today, the stacked game marathon is having is returning this October, and there is and I want to practice at least two games before that ga before it comes along, so I can at least submit a rough time for quote unquote speed runs of those games. So Saturday might be a mixed bag Saturday if I stream. It may be three games. It may be three games. Um, I went the wrong way. It will be the two games I would like to speed run and then probably finish up with this game. But we'll see what happens if it even happens on Saturday. 
And then Monday, let's hope I don't have to dip out once again. So, I didn't see any questions. So, as always with these streams, let's see who you guys want to go raid. As always, you guys get the choice on who raids. And who gets the raid? Who gets the radio? I'm on the Mexican radio. You guys do not know how bad I would love. I would love to do a karaoke stream one night. Like, just on an off night when I don't do my normal streams, just to have a karaoke stream. Unfortunately, karaoke streaming is now banned, even though Twitch promoted it, like, two months before they banned that. <sighs> yeah. I'm not super happy with Twitch, by the way. Anyway, let's stop. Uh, uh, let me stop. So... Your options for this evening for a radio are uh, Scott Falco, who is playing Spelunky 2 right now because he just released a, video, a short video about Spelunky 2 on his channel. So he's playing Spelunky 2 to help promote that video and you know, tie the two together, really. Um, Tom Fox is streaming... Super Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Uh, Botanic Sage is streaming Mario Golf Super Rush. Resident Hearts, both... Uh, oh god, I can't remember her full her full no username. I'm sorry, Ellie. Uh, Ellie and Platinum Rhythm are streaming together some Mario Kart 8. Nakatalili is translating uh, Boho Yoyomu, which is, oddly enough, a game he did a Let's Play of a while ago. But he's translating. He's translating the game now, I guess for his own purposes. And lastly, uh, Gamma Lad, Gamma PT, whatever name let's go by now. He's. I think he's playing Trails of Cold Steel Two. Yeah. So he's playing Trails of Cold Steel Two. So I'll run through it again because I kind of was wordy. Scott Falco, Splunky Two, and then switching over to some other game after after he's done with that. I should have mentioned that. Tom Fox, Danganronpa 2, Botanic Sage, Mario Golf, Resident Hearts, Mario Kart 8, Nakatalili, translating Boho Yoyomu. Uh, it's a much it's a Metroidvania, sorry, I should have said that too. Or Gamma, who's playing Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 2. It is a very tropey anime RPG. Um Well, if I were to rate a VTuber, I actually have two people who are set up doing the VTuber thing. Botanic Sage, who's playing Mario Golf, and Nakatili, who's doing the translation thing. Uh, Botanic Sage, I think, had his avatar made by others. Nakatili made his own avatar. So, I'll leave you with that for a choice. Hey, how about that? And I'll stick around for like half a minute just to say hi and pass you guys off, but I gotta go clean up immediately afterwards. <laughs> Shoot, wrong tab. There we go. And if you have no preference, I'm actually going to... Even though it's not a VTuber, I'm actually going to pass it off to uh, Platinum Rhythm instead. Or Resonant Hearts. Alright. Uh... I apologize if I'm jumping the gun, but I think I'm not seeing any kind of input, so I think I'm going to go ahead and just raid uh, Resonant Hearts. So, everyone, thanks for coming out this evening. Have some fun with Platinum, Platinum Rhythm and Ellie while they stream Mario Kart 8. I am going to go expire. You folks have a great evening, and like I said, keep an eye on Twitter if I'll even be live. If I'll even be live this... Uh, uh, in two days. There we go. Those are words. I can say them. So, anyway. <laughs> I call it. I'm very sweaty. Anyway. Here you go. And I say whoosh unto you.